Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I want to give the update for the solid bar LED area. Let me go ahead and pull the, uh, the little grow plastic up over the top here and show you what we got going. So we've got, so before we left, Paula and I came down here and we uh, cut some of this beta solid mix and some of this chard. And then we had the little scrub uh, tray left over there and we cleared that out. So when we came back, this all seems to have rebounded. So we had another cutting off of it this weekend. This is the weekend before Thanksgiving 2017. And it's, uh, you know, still got a lot of uh, vegetative growth coming up. I mean, we've, we've hammered this pretty hard for at least, uh, I would say we've gotten at least four weeks worth of salads off of this beta salad mix. So this is really a good staple uh, lettuce green that you can put into your uh, salads and you can put into your soups because actually what we did is we took this uh, this Silverado chard and we put this in chicken noodle soup that Paula had made and we took uh, one of those uh, organic chickens that we get and then we take the bones, we cook those down, we make it into bone broth and then Paula makes a uh, really good homemade chicken soup with homemade noodles and then she takes this uh, Silverado chard, kind of cuts it up into a couple of little larger slices and throws that in there and man that is good. I mean. You know, if you want to have some good stuff in the cold winter to warm you up and make you feel like you're not, you know, freezing to death, it, uh, it really it really tastes nice to take the uh, chill off of the uh, cold winter evenings. But uh, I moved over here this first cut, uh, DMR solid mix, because it was ready to go for another harvest. So I've got that here. So this week will be cut and come again on these. You can hear the fan come on over there. Let me unplug that for a second. Oh. I had a video I made not too long ago where I was doing a harvest, and I never did post that, guys, for you to hear. Those dang cooling fans, <laughs> they kick on. You can't hear a thing down here. But uh, anyway, back to the <laughs> back to the greens. <laughs> and, uh, you know, see, this is what it is live, and I don't edit my stuff, man. I just put it up. I let you guys watch it. That way you can see that I am not doing anything wonky or fake with this stuff. Uh, <laughs> so so uh, we'll be getting some more salad cuttings off of this this week. And... Uh, We'll probably be putting this back in for the second cut into the mid-sized grow tent, and we'll be pulling out another beta salad mix. So we'll probably have uh, a really big beta mix for the next two weeks coming out of here as we uh, reseed and dump out some of the uh, second cut trays and get those growing to seed up. So we're going to be pretty much only getting the beta mixes to keep us going in salads until I get the new sprouts coming up, because when we went on vacation, it kind of put a break in the cycle where I would have already had those trays seeded and they would have already been sprouting up to probably about you know inch height so that's going to kind of put a damper on uh, our salad rotational production when you leave for two weekends that kind of throws everything into the to the crapper I guess you could say but uh, everything seems to be going really well on the salad bar LED area the lights are doing well the temperature's staying regulated I got the little fan here to keep the airflow going don't have any molds I did see uh, when we got back there were some really big leaves that were on here they were probably you know good size like that and they did have the sun scald on them from the uh, LED lights but that's to be expected I mean I'm running at 19 inches from the grow media to here and when these get to be you know 12 inches high you're talking you got a 12 inch to 13 inch gap there maybe depending on their height from that central focus of that LED coming down on it and it's usually the ones in this area here right kind of underneath that get that kind of scald but uh, you know that's something you can just work with if you wanted to have something to where you know you pull this up higher and let your greens get bigger or your medicinal herbs get a little taller you just got to remember if the ones that are closer and direct underneath those leds you could get sun scald on them especially if they're a newer type plant so you know adjust accordingly <laughs> all right well this has been brian from pmb homesteading i'll talk to you guys next week all right bye